Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 5, The Cryptic Degrees, from the Higher Degrees Handbook by John S. M. Ward. Chapter 4, The Cryptic Degrees. The cryptic degrees are four in number and are ruled by a grand council of their own, which, however, in reality is in close alliance with Mark Grand Lodge, whose hall is their headquarters. They are the most excellent master, the royal master, the select master, and the super excellent master, and their legends bridge the gap, historically, between the first temple and its destruction. The most excellent master must not be confounded with the excellent master, which is worked in Scotland and is really the passing of the bells in the royal arch. Although it is kept separate and given first, its legend, therefore, is associated with the second temple, while the most excellent master, on the contrary, deals with the completion and dedication of the first temple. The apron, which is seldom worn, is white-edged with purple, and there is a purple collar. The color refers to their grief felt by the brethren for the loss of the third principle, whose chair is vacant. The most striking feature in the lodge room is a small replica of the Ark of the Covenant. In theory, the qualification for the most excellent master is only Mark, but as it is always followed by the royal master, for which the qualification is Mark and Arch, in practice the candidate must hold both these degrees. The royal master is a most interesting degree, for it shows how the royal arch signs came to be deposited in the place in which they were subsequently found. Though Hiram Abiff's chair was vacant in the most excellent master, in the royal master, he is the chief character, and his disquisition on the subject of death is one of the most beautiful pieces of ritual in Freemasonry. The apron in this degree is black, edged with red, but it is seldom worn. The three principles, however, wear robes similar to those worn by the same officers in the royal arch. The select master, unlike the preceding degrees, has a special jewel of its own, namely a silver trowel within a triangle of the same metal, which is suspended from a black collar edged and lined with red. The apron is white edged with red and gold, and is of a triangular shape, but in England neither it nor the jewel are usually worn. In Scotland, the jewel of the cryptic degrees combines the triangle and the trowel, whereas in England we wear the jewel of the super excellent master to represent all four degrees. The select master is supposed to be held in a crypt, hence the name cryptic degrees, which is the same crypt in which the signs of the royal arch were at a later date discovered. The legend is similar to that of one of the degrees of the ancient and accepted rite, and relates how a well-known mason employed by King Solomon accidentally intruded into his crypt when King Solomon and Hiram, King of Tyre, were present. The intruder was subsequently pardoned, but the outer guard, who should have prevented his entry, was punished in his place. This is undoubtedly an old legend which crops up again in a third degree. The Grand Tyler of King Solomon, one of the allied degrees. Its symbolic meaning is that those who push their occult investigation beyond reasonable limits and without the assistance and protection of more experienced investigators run serious risk. The super excellent master is short and not very interesting, but it brings the story of the first temple down to the time of its threatened destruction and so bridges the gap between the most excellent master and the royal arch. The lesson taught is unswavering loyalty to Jehovah. The color of this degree is crimson 
and a crimson collar should be worn in practice. However, this is worn only by members of the Grand Council. The jewel of these degrees is a white enamel triangle with the point downwards. That is, the triangle of the preserver and is as a rule the only regalia worn. The most interesting part of this degree is a carpet on the floor with the following design thereon. Inside a square is a circle, within which is a triangle pointed towards the west, and within the triangle is the conductor of the council, on which rests an altar, and on the altar is the Ark of the Covenant. As the floor design is not adequately explained, the following will be of use. The triangle pointing west is the symbol of the preserver, and has been adopted as the jewel of all these degrees in England, and it certainly denotes the underlying principle of the series. 1. The most excellent master teaches us that despite the loss of the chief architect, God preserved the work of the temple, and it was duly completed. 2. The royal master tells us how the royal arch signs came to be preserved. 3. In the Select Master, the overzealous friend of King Solomon was preserved from the dire fate which threatened him. 4. In the Super Excellent Master, we are shown how God preserved a remnant of the people because they preserved their faith in him. The triangle within a square denotes the descent of the spirit into matter, while the circle symbolizes infinity. Whence the spirit comes, the point links the infinite with the emblem for the all-pervading. It also refers to each individual ego. The whole symbol, therefore, means that God the Preserver descended from eternity and entering into matter became flesh, and he is one with the all-pervading. It is therefore a most sacred emblem and the fact that the Ark of the Covenant stands on the circle shows that the new dispensation arises out of the old, and the prophetic reference to this fact is emphasized by the real God which should remind us of him, who died upon the cross, thus this degree has a messianic esoteric meaning, often overlooked by those who have taken it. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment, and if you can, Please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.